As you can see, on November 29th of 2015, I uploaded a video titled Last Questions for Upcoming Q&A Video. I have not received the number of, com number of questions that I was sort of envisioning, but uh, I will be probably making that video maybe after Christmas or something like that. Anyways, so if you've got one, please do leave it there and leave it there sooner rather than later. But if you have a video request, don't leave it there. You can just ask a video request and I'll probably make a video. And the reason why I say that is because this video is going to be a video request and it is to talk about various clocks. And, uh, well, basically it's a general update video on clocks. And, excuse me, I don't normally do general update videos because, frankly... Hang on a minute. Uh, oh boy. Something tells me that uh, this computer over here is possessed. What happened? Okay, I didn't turn that on, and you very clearly saw that I was standing over there, so... How did this manage to turn itself on? Alright, well, okay. I'm going to just turn this off. I'm not going to throw the knife on the, on the computer, but I'm going to just turn it... I'm going to try to turn it off. It might not work. I might have to just yank the power. So, I don't know what the deal was with that, but uh, let's get back to our regularly scheduled video, shall we? Oh, uh, clock update. Okay. So, let's start up here with the Digitron multi-function clock. Uh, this thing's actually got a couple issues, as you can clearly see. But it's always had those issues. That's not really a change. It's because it's missing a couple screws. At least I think that's why it's got these problems. But uh, it's still running on the same batteries that it had a year ago. And underneath it, those two are still running on the batteries that I put in them when I first set them up. You've got the Flip-O-Matic flip clock over there from uh, the People's Republic of Walmart, I mean China. Uh, it didn't come from Walmart, but it certainly did come from China. Uh, you can see Flipomatic. Yeah, I don't know where they got that notion from, but whatever. And then this thing, which is a dollar store special, the Springy clock, that's what I like to call it. Uh, it's in good shape. Over here, this is not a clock, this is a DVD player. The Carillon electronic clock radio is in good shape. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference whether the dimmer's on or not, but uh, it's nice and bright, so that's good news. It means that the LEDs are in good shape. So that is definitely working, I guess you could say. Um, this is working just fine, the MIDI Instruments weather station. Uh, and that is accurate, that uh, count there. Now, it's pretty impressive how hot it is in here compared to the rest of the house. But that is the way it is. That's the way I like it, too. So The water clock probably needs new water, but it is going strong. Nothing too bad. I should probably replace that water. It looks kind of grungy looking. That thing is just fine with its light. This thing actually fell behind the desk recently. and. It's amazing that it didn't have, doesn't have a single scratch on it from that little incident. There is the Sony Dream Machine ICFC 414. I think that is the oldest clock I've got out of all of these. Uh, and then there's the, well, oldest as in I've had it for the longest, not oldest as in it is the oldest out of all of them. You know, you know what I mean. And then underneath it, we've got the National Panasonic clock with the VFD. Both of those are doing just fine. That thing up there is actually lost time, so it's a little bit off now. I might have to fix that, but I don't think I really care enough, at least not right now. The pendulum has stopped a couple times recently, and I'm not quite sure why that is either. Maybe it's... That computer has turned itself on again. Well, okay, you know what, whatever. I'm, I'll deal with that in a minute. So it stopped, and uh, 
I'm, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's starting to, uh, starting to really wind down or tell me that it wants to be replaced or something. I'm not sure. And then, of course, we've got a computer that wants to be in my freaking video. We've got, uh, That is so totally distracting. I, I, I don't even know what to say, really, because... As you can see, I'm not standing anywhere near it. It is right there. I am right here. There is at least, you know, three or four feet between that. So, unless I were some kind of, like, magician, I wouldn't be able to turn this thing on. So why does this thing keep turning on? Like... That's actually quite concerning and very creepy. Very freaky. Too. That's just that's just weird, but uh, the bird clock has been doing fine as well, just fine in fact, and it is still chiming and keeping good time, which is something that you would like to have in a clock because otherwise it either means the batteries are dead or your clock is about to die. So we turn this off and let's hope it doesn't turn itself back on again. I'm probably gonna just unplug it for safe measure. Apparently I can't turn and I can turn it on with the switch. I know I can do that. Or at least I thought I could do that. But... Here we go. Maybe I'm just not getting it in the right place or something. Nope, see? I just turned it on with a switch. So, obviously, I'm just having issues for no reason. Now I gotta let it boot up again, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, there is a watch over here that I don't use this watch over here on the wall because it's uh, it doesn't actually work or not on the wall it's on the ceiling sorry about that did I just say it was on the ceiling it's on a shelf it's not on the wall or the ceiling well third time's the charm you know what they say uh wow did it really take it that long to start up with Windows 3.1 I okay, guess on the point other than that, there is a clock on the floor. There's a, uh, what's that stupid thing? That Equity Industries Corporation or whatever. That thing, I still need to fix that. Uh, it's It will keep time if you put a battery in it, but uh, otherwise, good luck. Uh, I just displays a colon. You can turn on the snooze button, but that's about it. This one is my most unique watch out of the collection in that it's actually got a multicolored... Uh, Indigo backlight. That is counting. I think I'll leave it alone. All of these here, except for this and this, came from the People's Republic of Walmart. Uh, and I do actually mean the People's Republic of Walmart. And, uh, so this one, it's been going fine. This is actually a brand new one that I bought. Probably about a week ago now. And, uh, it's nice. In fact, it actually is really cool in that it uh, uses running men or running women, such as the case may be, to keep track of the seconds, plus the seconds counter there, but never you mind that. What have we got here? This is the, the one that I replaced the battery in a couple months ago. This one is going to need a battery replacement. This is the video of distractions, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> oops, that was the wrong button. But this one needs a new battery because, as you can see, it's kind of dim. Especially once I turn the Indiglo on, you can see it basically almost turns right off. So, uh, yeah, that's going to need a new battery. This one is the oldest and in the best shape. There is a cool breeze coming from somewhere, and I'm not sure where it is. That's kind of concerning, actually. But anyways... This is the oldest one of the bunch, the Timex Indiglo Ironman Triathlon. It's still working, and this one also needs a new battery because it has stopped counting for some reason. But there you go. There's my updated clock video. Plus a couple of extras because computers and clocks want to uh, interrupt and all of that. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.